yes, you do, you do have an elephant gun. I'll shoot the root of the nearest uh, the stalactite. I think is most above where I think it is. Mm, not a bad idea. <laughs> Not a bad idea. He's shooting at a stalactite that he doesn't know where it is in full darkness. I approve. You well, uh, you aim at the ceiling and let off a shot. This is exceptionally loud, considering that you're in a what? cave. Well, so it's light now. God damn. Have you ever been close to a test recoil? Fuck. We're already deaf. You, um... Well, some... Some... Some bits of the cave ceiling are dislodged, but they just fall and make even more noise. You don't the, the, hear the thing hissing or recoiling it's not even in irritated. pain. Daniel, it's not you have the light. I am going to use the light to shine it on our assailant. Okay. Sanity checks for everyone else, please. <laughs> I'm on the ground. I don't see shit. Because... No, you can see it. Oh, damn it. 46. 46. You are... Let's have a look. You are okay. That's that's good. You're okay. 34. 34. You are also okay. And... Do me. Uh, Stravinsky, you are also okay. Yeah, seen with the... Let's see what... Uh, McRae, however, so it's because he can see it as well. I see. Uh, no, he's also all right. Um, you can now all make um, mythos rolls again because you've now actually seen this thing. Do me. Uh, okay. Ooh, you um, yep, you passed that. Ooh, two, two. Okay, Violet. Uh, 77. Okay, oh, um, you, um, Daniel and Stravinsky, yes, you know what these things are. These are serpent people, although this one is an exceptionally deformed, ver like, specimen. You know that these, like, looking at it now, it's definitely a serpent person. Uh, this is a deformed specimen. It's stunted growth. This thing is not at all the, um, an example of what they were in their height hundreds of millions of years ago with their brilliant intellect and their mastery of magic and technologies that even now dwarf the achievements of humanity. Was the dwarf joke there on purpose? No. <laughs> it was not. It was uh, unintentional. Uh, this definitely does not look like one of those uh, ones that would be capable of huge amounts of magic. You don't recognize the weapon it has, although you presume that it is probably absurdly deadly. This is some old school Lovecraft degeneration stuff. He was obsessed with this kind of thing. I wonder why. <laughs> you, um, yeah, it's strange that. It actually, yeah. it actually um, flinches a little at the suddenness of the light. You don't think it is blinded as if it's like can't deal with the light, but it is a little startled by the sudden light. Can I can I use that? Uh, have I still got any points left? You could do something very quick. You could maybe get a shot off if you want with a pistol. Too fucking right. Yep. All right then, fire away. Uh, I am gonna fire four. Ooh, that is a good good shot. Yours is a it's a point four five caliber, is it not? Uh, my pistol is a nineteen eleven, I think. 1911. Let me check, I can tell you. No, yeah, check for me, because uh, I, I can... M1911. An M1911. What, um, what caliber? 1911. Uh, what, um, what caliber is that, typically? I think that's 45. 45, uh, roll me a 1d10, and add 2. 1d10, add 2. I rolled 10, and add 2. Okay, you pretty much... You, you, you dazzle it, and you get it straight in the head. To vaporize it? Well, pretty much. There's not much as, left as of it. As always, it just, uh... it just hey, I can link. If anyone thinks I'm bullshit, I no, can no, no, link. No, no, no. It, it's um, you, you basically you dazzle it and you just go, doom, get it straight in the head. Part of its head just disintegrates and it collapses to the ground. Its gun clatters down. There is silence. I want to be What is a little concerning is that there is when because the light can now illuminate a bit of the stairs. You don't see a second one there. There is only so it. there's only Darn this it. one. But he didn't come past us, did he? He did not go past you. No, he he ran off to get more dudes. I knew it. 
That's why. Well, I'm there's nothing we can do about that once it's covered and blown, really. There is. Well, there... he he's he's shit and not very quick, I assume. Mm, just because he's small doesn't mean he's not quick. Combat is over for now. Well, he, was the, he was the guy uh, crinkled like a pretzel. Strabinsky runs up this, after him. This thing, yeah. by the way. Um, yeah, but his gun's really powerful. We shouldn't sprint after them. Schmidt? Well, I mean. Yeah. This thing was like three meters away from you when it fired. Nice. This thing was very close. Can I take its gun? You can go and grab its gun if you like. Lightning dodge. Jesus Christ. You can go is and it, grab it. Is, like, oh, I see. Is it a lightning cannon? Well, you can have a look at it. It's. What? Do I need Mythos to check it, or...? No, let me describe it for you. Um, you pick up you pick up this gun. This this weapon is made of bluish crystal, and in your light it gleams very strangely, uh, unlike any crystal you've seen before. Its twisted hand grip does not fit your hand well at all. A large blister of purple-veined blue glass surmounts the hand grip, and six thin rods of silvery hue project to forward from the weapon. Is it usable by human hands? I take it. It's uh, Daniel already has it. I uh, take it from Daniel. No, uh, for, I'll, I'll finish describing it. Uh, inside the uh, blister sloshes a silver liquid, somewhat, somewhat resembling mercury. There is a sort of trigger mechanism that you can see. Um, it is usable, but it is really unwieldy. You are, you cannot use your pistol skill on this. It has its own skill. Out of interest, like is a, it modifiable? Like, could you take it... Like, can you give an extended mag? <laughs> yeah. You, you well, would... I mean, more in a sense, that can can it be, like, changed by a blacksmith or something? To, like, you would... More you, to be blunt, you would have no idea where to even begin with the mechanisms of um, the... That's fair enough. Then uh, we'll, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep it for study more than anything. I'll, I'll put it in my... Like, can I fit it? Does it fit in my bag, or is it really big? It fits in your bag, but you note the fragility of the... Um, how fragile the... Um, Sphere with the sloshing liquid looks. It looks very fragile. In the, in the I've box. got some. I've got like some um, tarp and stuff in my bag. You can wrap it up in that. I'll wrap yeah. it in that. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good plan. Just hand it I to have, Schmidt. I have the box that teleport it. shit to our to our hotel. Yeah, room. but I'm worried it might get like it fly through it and end up breaking the other side. Yeah. The um the the orb. If it's that fragile, yeah. it's best I keep. Yeah. yeah the sloshy thing it. looks. It looks pretty much nearly full, but there is a little bit of it that's um. A little bit of room for air in there. That's probably the ammunition, you guess. That silvery liquid. Makes sense. So, so you this have is that. The, the perfect weapon for a damp cave. An electrical weapon, right? Well, it only looks like electricity. You don't know if it is. Oh, oh no, see. it's electricity. So I'll, now that you've got the room il illuminated, um, a little on the, like by the stairs, a little bit away from the stairs, which on the left hand side, there is a corridor that leads off. By well, I mean, the, the, there's, before there's anything, all... as quickly as possible, Stravinsky runs over to the corridor, the other guy ran up and shoots up it, hoping that it's, it's straight actually, enough and he's not... It's actually down. It's down. Well, he shoots down it and hoping that he hasn't rounded a corner. Well, what you have to do is, if you want to do that, you have to run past the... You presume he's probably run off somewhere? You presume he's run past the altar, I imagine. Because the stairs don't lead anywhere. Okay, well, wherever he... There's... Smith okay. said they were coming from. You move, you quickly rush past the stairs. There's an altar ahead of you. You no, now really don't run. I'm well, not going down, I'm just shooting. You've already no you now notice that there is a passageway to the right that you think might lead towards the other cave. And past the altar you can see a stairway that heads down. Uh down into darkness, I presume. Down into darkness. You don't I see shoot any down into the darkness. You shoot into the darkness. Middle middle of the thing. Bang. I, I, I use magic missile to attack the darkness. You shoot into the darkness, you hear nothing but the reverberation of your shot. Okay. What are the rest Zabinsky of you doing? Zabinsky keeps uh, an eye on that opening. Well people. You're gonna look around. at the altar. Anybody else going to look I'm, at the altar? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the altar for sure. Okay. You're well, we get... were further back anyway, weren't we? Yeah, so... you were. So you're going to go to the altar while he does that. Um, this is an altar. Brown stains and carvings cover it. I'd like you to roll sanity checks, you two, please. Okay. Three. Three? I'm too sane right now. Eight. You're both fine. Roll oh, no, me... sorry. Ignore that. Ignore that. That was the wrong dice. Uh, 65. Oh, 65. Not so good. Um... You lose yeah, apologies, one... I, rang, I rolled the D10 there. You lose one point of sanity. Puts you down to 51 yeah. by my reckoning. Uh, let me look at my current sanity. 52, yep, so that's 51. Yep. Uh, roll me Cthulhu Mythos rolls. Okay. 
81. Why am I... <laughs> Forty. Oh, no, I want a myth or something. I never no, myth or anything. Come you, on, you, guys. You guys, on. you don't know what... There are strange symbols on it, but you can't recognize what they're dedicated to. Um, it, there is a passageway that you've not yet explored. There's also the stairway, if you want to check it out, the one leading up rather than down. And there's also the other corridor you've discovered, or the passageway. That passageway... The that... one going down, mm. is it, does it lead somewhere like... Can it's, we see where it leads? Is it big or is it small? It's we very see? windy. This is the one that Schmidt fired down, and there are stairs. As is that the one to... we think the dudes? Sc That's sc the one scared. you think the dudes scampered towards. Dude, there's going to the be dudes, more of them man. down there. He wouldn't run off not to get more. I think there is a by the stairs that head up. There is a small passageway you haven't explored, and by the altar. There is a natu more natural tunnel that heads towards where you think would be the direction of the other cave. Is there anything on the altar? Uh, or no. in the altar? There's nothing on the altar or in it. It's just... Can I, I can knock it and there's nothing... Not hollow? No. Nope, it's not hollow. It's made of very firm stone. Okay. Is there any anything interesting on it? Like, no. like, in, like it's sigils? Or... There are sigils and stuff, but you tried to identify them with the Mythos roll and you can't glean what they are. Can I take a stencil of it? You can if you want to spend the time doing so. Uh, well, but I guess we can come back and do that if necessary. There is other oh, places. As I say, you haven't exp the place you haven't explored. You haven't decided to go up the stairs. Uh, there's a small passageway leading off on the left-hand wall, and there's a more natural um, tunnel on the right-hand wall you've now discovered. Mm. So, do we want to follow the dude first? Is that probably a anything the, uh... special about the lizard before we move on? His corpse. Oh yeah, like, like yeah. Can I bring him into the? Can I shine some light and investigate the body a bit further? Is it? Does it match up with the skeleton I saw? You think if it didn't have the deformities that it has, this is the one with the hunchback. You'd think its physique roughly fits it, but this thing is not at all well compared to the skeleton you saw in the ruins. This one is certainly stunted in growth and deformed. Anything with more time, he would be able to maybe. Ooh. You'd have to take it like. Can I take it with me? Uh, Is this small enough for me to like strap it up and like? Well, we can chop it up and, and like put it backpack. in the box. Potentially, I mean, it would take you time to. We can, we can just chop it up and put it in the box. I don't want to chop you... it up, though, really. If I can avoid it. Mm -hmm. It's not not as uh, useful to me uh, in pieces. No. I, I don't think yeah, can I, can I, can I, like, basically tie it up and, like, wear it like a backpack? You could, it will be weighing you down a little bit. How heavy are we talking? Uh, how heavy are we talking? Probably about, uh, it's about half your weight. Mm, it's all awkward as shit, I would assume, since the weight isn't evenly distributed due to it being so deformed. It's about half my way. Okay. Um, we'll tell you what. Can I? I'm gonna prop it up by the altar if I get a chance. I'll yeah, prop it up it. by the altar. That's fine. Is there anywhere else you want to? Uh, you you prop it up by the altar. You've uh, fired a shot down the thing. There's no more sound in here now. Well, apart from what what what. So you've got a few places you haven't explored that lead off from here. It was naked, I assume. Yes. Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. Got a small um, corridor on the left-hand wall. There's a more natural passageway off on the right. You have got the well, stairs leading up. I don't know why anyone else thinks. But I think if if we carefully follow the uh, creature that escaped, because if it gets reinforcements, that could be an issue. Yeah, it was pretty quick. Uh, the the corridor down there must must turn pretty soon. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have hit it or seen the light. Uh. It didn't have any, the one we killed, didn't have any reloads for the thing. Not what you can see. Mm. What's Violet been doing in all this? I've been investigating the altar. You're investigating the altar, okay. You sure you don't want an arm? We can have an arm. Uh, I, can, I can have an arm, yeah. Yeah, take, uh, take the arm. Have an arm. Schmidt, what are you doing? Yeah, just chuck the arm in the box. So arm the ball. Uh, what about the tail, actually? I don't know, just keeping an eye out. Doesn't have much of a tail, this weird. one. Okay. Dumpy. Keeping an eye out for anything weird. Okay. It you doesn't know, take you usual long. Spot hidden. It doesn't take you long to realize that the people that came with you aren't there anymore. Oh. You look back, and they're not there. But Wait, the NPCs. They got, they, yep, Stravinsky's the, Mc, been... the McRays are not there. They didn't uh, chase the thing, so they must have gone back the way we Guys, I think the AI got stuck. Oh, um, no. 
Fucking escort quest. <laughs> Reload. Uh, did anybody see where the McCreary's went? Mm, you did, no one was paying attention to where the McRae's went. Okay, I, I go backwards a little bit and see if I can spot something where they might have gone. Unfortunately, with this being a stone-based uh, thing... Or hear something? Oh, hearing something. Hmm. Yeah, listen check. After you... the lightning? And the no, lightning you can't hear anything. You just rolled in. A... You... <laughs> all, all you your hear is, is a actually... loud ringing. Your, hear... your, in your hearing ears. is actually a little distorted from all the, uh, the, the like, weapon shots from the thing and from the... Uh, a little. From the combat. Well, I just rolled in a hundred on your listen, so... <laughs> your hearing's a little off right now. But you, you can't see the McRae's. They're not at the entrance of the cave that you came in. I see. Oh, well. Did they go the other passageway, maybe? They could have. Any, any of their belongings on the ground? Can I use the light to check? They're, none of their belongings are there. They took everything they had with them, including their shotgun. We would have heard if they shot it. They didn't shoot it. So, presumably they didn't get grabbed or anything. No, but there were two of them. We would have heard one of them, at least, protest. Unless they practice synchronized grabbing, the lizard men. Nope. Not but you okay, know. so they either went back or down the other way because Stravinsky was looking at the one the blizzard get went down, so they couldn't have gotten past there. Mm. Stravinsky, mm -hmm. you hear something that sounds very off. At first, off you thought power. it might be one of those things, but but no, this is crying, childlike crying. Huh. It's coming from the corridor by the stairs, and yes, it does sound vaguely childlike. What the uh, the one I uh, I shot down? No, that's um, past the altar. This is by the stairs leading up, on the left-hand wall. I suspect child has been made into lizard. There's crying. Uh, Stravinsky gang signs that this is happening. Gang sign. Nobody understands because you cannot convey in signs. I think the baby has been turned into a lizard. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't even get that sounds roll. like poor planning. Roll for charades? Uh, fuck. Well, Sabinsky you can points hear this. And, and says thing. Ah, he's pointed towards that little passageway on the left hand wall. Alright, let's go down and have a look at them. You leading the way? Oh, well, as long as everyone's coming with us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Might as well have. Smith go first, since he can create several after images that will then be Which one? Me. You Smith, or your Vinny Smith, or the other Smith? Uh, McCready. Wait, the one from the thing? Yeah. No, he's not with you. Oh. He, he was great. Schmidt, are you going first, then? Uh, of course, Schmidt always goes first. You go first into this room. This, this, co name Smith. this corridor does not go very far. It's literally Nine. like maybe seven or eight feet, and it opens up into what you could only describe as a charnel bone pit. Sorry, what? This is a charnel bone pit. Roll describe to charnel to a poor it German is, man. It is littered with countless numbers of human remains, skeletons, ah. pu and bodies. No, no, now I know. It's no, that's, that's very German. It does not take... Um. It does not take... <laughs> It does not take any real occult roles for you guys to all realize that these people must have been ritually sacrificed because of the precision of the wounds on their chest. Uh, definitely sounds like Scotland. At the southern end of at the southern end of this room, of note is a wooden box lined with blankets. Hey, the box. noise is coming from there, and you all can recognize it as crying. Wait, hold on. But is How it like an inhuman crying? It is a baby crying. I shoot the box. No, um... <laughs> but it's um, a real baby. I shoot the box. Go Why is the lightning cannon on the box? Go have a look and find <laughs> out. Uh, I sneak up to the I box forget. carefully. Sorry. Hmm? What, what height was the altar? Roughly human height. So it had not been these small fucks doing the, the altering. You don't know. Maybe they have a small ladder. A little step ladder, or they have one that's deformed or they just the right way. So, um, you're going to walk, you're going to carefully move up, Schmidt. You move up, you get to the box, you look over, and inside is a baby that is crying. And despite all the death and devastation and ruin around it, it seems completely unharmed. Will it fit in the box? Do I have to do a sanity check? No, you do not have to do a sanity check for seeing a baby. Oh, Only okay. if you have to change his nappy. Ugh. 
Is the baby? Is there anything weird about this baby? That it's in a room full of no, bones no. I mean, like, is there anything? Is it, does it have like scaly parts or something? It's crying. Will it fit in the box? <laughs> Crying is doesn't mean it, it could be blue and still be crying. It I mean, is like, a, is there some, to, for all that you can see, it is a perfectly fine and alive and healthy, if crying, baby. I checked the baby's teeth. Does it have teeth? It does have teeth. They look absolutely. Is it, is it a baby if it has teeth? I think, is it more like a toddler at that point. I no, wait, it won't have teeth then. My bad. Okay, so it hasn't teeth yet. Okay, it, it is I, a baby. I pick up the, the baby room. in an awkward German way and present it like the Lion King to the rest of the group and say it is, it seems to be real. As soon real. as you pick up the baby, it stops crying. Well, oh, yes, you killed it. I mean, well done. No, it's still, <laughs> it's, 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 it's oh. fine. It's just not crying anymore while no, you're holding it. it wait, 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 wait. Still. I put the baby back down. After about a few seconds, starts making noise like it's going to cry again. I picked the baby back up. It's not going to cry now. I turned to the others and I said, I think it's fake. <laughs> is there a spike where you keep putting it down? <laughs> no, there is not. Uh, will it fit in the box? Can we measure? I, I hand the baby to Violet because I am a progressive Luke, man who knows Luke's that AFK, women can be trusted. Sadly. With uh, the safekeeping of the The uh, baby the cries children. even more when you hand it to her. I <laughs> take it back from Violet and said, what are you doing? You don't know how to treat a baby. I say baby reacts Gaga. to Mythos. Who has the least? Uh, that I, I, that uh, would admittedly be uh, Schmidt, but uh, maybe you're thinking about this too hard and it just doesn't cry when we he's holding it. We have a string it. we can dangle it from and see which way Why is there a baby here in the first place? I because, you, because that is what the rays were searching for. Oh, right, they were kidnapped for the baby. baby. The kid, then why, did, then why didn't they people. go down the crying corridor? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, you're right. Wait, so we found their baby, but now they're gone. Correct. We would assume they ran away because they heard a baby, but they went down the wrong corridor. Maybe they didn't hear the baby. Maybe we should shout very loudly that we found the baby. I think they might be mentally deficient. I mean, they lost their baby. Hmm. Well, you well, have it's... you have a baby that's currently not crying. Admittedly, it is taking both your hands to hold the baby. Yeah, I was thinking about putting it in the box, but uh, come to think of it, I don't know if things survive going through there, even if they fit. It would deposit it safely back at the inn owned by the cultist. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So you're currently hmm. standing in a room full of bodies with a baby. That's not crying. A baby. Yes. Can we, um, can we find this, it some teeth? They have. They've gone into a. Have... They've gone into basically what looks like a charnel bone pit full of bones and sacrificed bodies, and in the southern corner of it, uh, Violet was a wooden box lined with blankets, which Schmidt found a baby in. Yep. And I picked I up the baby it... and I gave it to you, and then it started crying again. It so seems it not to be crying when Schmidt is holding onto the baby. We've deducted that it uh, reacts to mythos. No, you've deducted that, that baby it reacts some to medicine, boys. You, you've deducted that it reacts to mythos. Nobody else has. Uh, I'm alone in I my mean, wisdom. I mean, you could probably administer medication to it that would make it sleep. I mean, this is a baby, though. Permanently? No, but has, has Grant inspected it to see if it's actually a baby? Would you like to inspect it to see that it's a baby, Daniel? Uh, I will check if it is indeed a baby. Roll me a medicine check. 65. I'm a bit unsure. <laughs> Uh, no, well, you aren't. You are not unsure. It, it does not take more than a cursory glance for you to conclude that this is a. This is a pigeon. This is. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a pair of pliers. No, this is a perfectly healthy baby. I have only held this baby for five minutes, but if anything happens to it, I will kill everyone in this, this room. Baby and is I swap, can I swap the baby for my lizard now? This baby uh, is an exception. I give you the baby if you give me the lizard this gun. This baby is in exceptionally no good health. It's some sort of wailing. And it's not even it's not even a slightly deformed lizard baby. No, like what? It's, it's, an, no, it's, it's a not. perfectly healthy human. It's a disaster. Baby. Literally, I want the a baby thing, lizard. literally the first thing I did was check for teeth before I picked it up. Well, there's some on the floor. The only child Violet ever wanted was a baby lizard thing, and my dream's been ruined. Well, can we have a look around the charnel house? Maybe someone with a doctorate to, uh, to see if these are baby skeletons. I will, uh, can I, yeah, I'll, can I give a check of the bodies? Yeah, sure, medicine that? roll, if you like. 
Is yeah, this rib cage that this baby will fit inside? Thirty-five. Probably? These are all adults. Anything except for the obvious the fact they're dead. Anything? Uh, no. Um, the bodies that have not decomposed. Um, they're just. There's nothing especially extraordinary about them apart from the precision of which they have all been killed. They have all been killed um, with the stabbing through the heart. Hmm. Wow. What were they stabbed through the heart with? It looks like they were stabbed through the heart with an exceptionally um, sharp, piercing, thin weapon. You'd be talking like a sort of stiletto-style knife. Hmm. Okay. That's a weird place to keep a baby. Are there any more boxes? No, no more boxes. Just that box. So it's just a baby in a room that doesn't have babies usually. Is this a trap? You can put two. In, you can. Uh, I can. Uh, you you can think about it for a moment if you like. I would like to think. Okay. It does not take you long to deduce that this baby was probably put here in preparation to be sacrificed. But none of the dead things are babies. Correct. Just, uh, just. It seems, it seems meat inefficient to sacrifice a baby. Not a lot of bang for your buck. It's basically level one. You can make another one again. Well, but but it's also the child hasn't been sacrificed, right? So presumably, maybe they've been sacrificed to the child. Oh my god. Or maybe ah, they haven't been. Or maybe they just haven't been sacrificed yet. I mean, we'll put it in the box then. Just might as well have it on the floor. <laughs> the baby <laughs> hungers. Where will you be when hunger strikes? Bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da so, you've got a baby, and you're in a room full of bodies. I've got a baby, and, fuck. And you don't have... Who you don't have with you are the parents Sorry. of the baby. Yeah, okay. so they must have gone back where we came from. Maybe maybe the parents of the baby can't exist in the same space. And if yeah, you need to the baby, they're the like, parents in the same room? They're like station, but instead you of have, getting a longer ass, they turn into a baby. You have a few ways you've not gone. Um, mm -hmm. you've, you've not gone up the stairs where you first saw the uh, serpent person. You've also not gone down the passageway to the right that you've discovered that looks more natural than the one you arrived in this cave in. Oh, there's three. I put the baby in my bag and uh, check the other ways. It puts the baby in the bag of whoever gets the hose again. A baby should probably be in the bag of someone who isn't too good at sneaking. Well, I mean, Otherwise... the problem is the baby seems to cry whenever I don't hold mm -hmm. it, so... I must hold you, the baby. You systematically go to the other people and, yep, uh, cries a, quite a bit with Daniel, <laughs> cries an awful lot with you, Stravinsky. Only doesn't <laughs> cry with Schmidt. Stravinsky has many, ba many, many. Well, I'll uh, I'll stick in the middle and you, well, someone take the rear and the front, but I when hold the baby. When you put the baby in the backpack, the crying starts again. I, I hold the baby. Daniel sedated, goddammit. I'll get morphine. <laughs> <laughs> I would honestly not recommend that. <laughs> Who has doctorate? Who baby. has doctorate here? I medicine the baby. Oh man, yeah, I just hold the baby and other baby people is, need to do The baby this is shit. quiet now. Okay. Yeah, damn right, it would be after all that morphine. I use Wait, architecture. One, on the of, one of you stashed the uh, the whiskey from uh, from upstairs, right? Yeah, that was uh, Daniel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll take a rag of cloth, tie a little stick to it, <laughs> dip in whiskey, shove in baby as pacifier. Enjoy. <laughs> Stravinsky put, has done this many times, the done this many times, but with potato vodka. So, uh, shalom or whatever they say in Russia. I think it was. I think what it was. What are you done guys to... doing? I, 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 I'm holding. The I think baby. we're about to commit uh, infant side. No, no, I'm no. no. You, the baby. you used to do that back in the day. My, that doesn't my mean to say it was that. necessarily the right thing to do. It's usually what you do when babies are teething, or you don't want to bother with them. That's true. It actually does. Like a tiny bit of alcohol does actually send babies to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah like it's it's like a pacifier. It's like a rag they suck on. So with, uh, with aside from that, are you going in any particular direction? Well, we're gonna have to hurry if we're gonna catch either the thing or those two you idiots. You don't know which way. The thing is he with McCready. Dun dun. You can sort you of know, guess. I, I would like to point out that we're holding a baby and that no, we no, no, might no, actually no. want to leave and regroup and maybe not take the baby into potential combat situations. Nah, that's fine. Baby can't get killed. But you also... Yeah. Yeah. It's also a level one character. You, you also really need to potentially find the parents. I'm sure they're fine. Well, yeah, but if we have the baby and make it cry systematically in every room, that should summon the parents. <laughs> so which way are you going? 
uh, right, I'd say again. I don't know. Can we go right? You I you back tracking? You back tracking towards the thing. You back in t- tracking towards the right hand uh, way that you originally went. Well, there's no other ways out of this, is there? Well, there is. There's a, there's the other na- more natural cavern that you found that you may think heads to the um oh, the cave. Okay, so room. the the room we were in with the altar had three exits. One it, we came out of with well, the one that had the lizards and the one that led here. Yeah. There's the one you first came in on. Yes. There's the room that you've just entered. Yes. There's the room that you. Th- there's a way that you think the lizards have gone down. Yeah. And there is a more natural tunnel that I've <laughs> that I've uh, mentioned that you think may lead to the other cave. Okay, so I think that's probably where the dudes went then. Yeah, let's go that way. The Monatural yeah. Cave. So back in that way. Yeah, I mean we got to get the dudes. So There's you're no go point the in having cave. a quest item if we can't turn it in. So you head, you go towards where the altar is. And you head through the more natural cave. There's a small branch that heads off to the left, but you quickly shine the torch down there and it leads to a dead end. You don't see anyone down there. So you carry on down the other fork. You end up on the other side of the very large cave. Hold on. That one that didn't lead anywhere, did it look like it wasn't done being carved? or they just? It's a, this is more natural. This oh, has okay. not been carved. This is more natural. <laughs> Just looks like a, mm. a natural end to that cavern area. Is it lit at all? Nope, none of this is lit. Scabby. You go to. You emerge out in the f- original cave you first checked. It looks like you're on the other side of it. So all the passages that I mentioned before are still there, but they are on the other side of the cave. You cannot see the muck rays. Can I hold a kid for a while? You'll they have, summon the, you'll have summon to them. ask uh, the babysitter. you have to ask the babysitter. Well, they'll summon the McCready's. You can get the baby. Or, or, busy, or, you can just, or you can just make noise. That would also potentially work. They'll also summon Satan. They but might so just think could the, the crying. Yeah, but they, they might just think it's escaped or something. I don't know what babies do. They don't escape this far. No, Maybe? babies just rip through the clothes, leave you out in the snow. Oh yeah. What? So what are you gonna do? Uh, have quick sweep of room. Yeah. Right. So you look into the left. Yeah. Look into the left. There's this. This cave very quickly ends after about twenty feet. So you've more focus to the right. You have to navigate past lots of um, protrusions in the rock. It's quite a lot of uh, of them there. You have to be careful. Eventually. You get, on the left-hand side of the wall, there is a tunnel. This is the one that's opposite the way you originally came into this cave. This leads into the distance and the darkness. There's another Hmm. tunnel further down this main cave, by the hole. The hole? I described a hole to the right-hand side when you first came in. Oogle? Cthulhu. We get an oogle down the hole. You want to go to the hole and ignore this passageway? Well, let's shine some light down the hole. Have, can we see anything down there? Have a look. All right, you're going to go to the other side of the cave. We spawn in McCready's down there. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. McGribbly. You, um... Cheating, bitch. You, um, you go to the hole. But you pass a tiny little, um... Tunnel on your way. There's a tunnel right next to you. Looks like it ends. It opens up into another small room, much like the room where you found the baby, but the tunnel to it's a bit longer. The hole in question that you have found. This is a very, very deep pit. Faint Any traces hooping? of slime can be made out along its northwest edge. So something climbed out of there. What's the slime smell like? Very, very wrong. Ooh, nice. Take sample. Or like, like PVC against leather, kind of long. Or wrong. Or like what? no chemical you've ever smelt before. Wrong. Like someone. Uh, like John's mac- baby oil. mackerel and strawberry jam on a radiator. Worse than life. that. Oh. Well, maybe take sample. There are many we- rock protrusions. If anyone has any rope, they're more than welcome to rappel down if they wish. Nope. I did not bring a rope. Nope. Well, I'll take a sample of slime. All right, you you managed to take a a sample of the viscous slime. Well, then I think the room that looked like the one we were in. Yeah. Ah, uh, the um the the tunnel right next to you. 
I'm very confused about how many tunnels there are, so I'm just going to refer to them like that. Yeah, no, this is um. There are two tunnels leading off this cave that you haven't gone down. You passed okay, one, one to get uh, to these ones. That's the one that looked like it led to a room, like the charnel house. Uh, the one that you're going into. Yes. Yes, that's the one yeah, you're that going one, into. That one, then, please. You go into this one. Uh, it doesn't take you that long. It's about fifteen feet. This ends in a small chamber. Hanging on the wall are two hey, of the de- ha- are two of the devices that uh, Daniel has. Oh, nice. There is also a rack of dried meat. Uh, yoink. No, 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 you're not yoink. Maybe anatomy. Is anyone having a look at this? Yes, I'll look. All right. Um, you immediately identify this as human jerky. Roll me a sanity roll. <laughs> Excuse me, human jerky? Yep. Your medicine is that good that you immediately recognize this. Oh, this is jerky. He has a, he has a Made from man. Sanity check for me, Daniel. 72. 72, that is a fail. You only suffer one point of sanity loss, though. You were sort of expecting this, but it's still quite horrifying. Mm. This, is human, said, yeah? this is human jerky. At one point, you're down to 50. Well, that's Oops. weird, since nothing was missing from the sacrifice. They were just killed. You, yeah, also, so this. you also spot in the corner a body. Hello? There's a body that's been lugged into a corner, leaning back against something. This body looks mm. like it's been dead for some time. It's not uh, anyone you recognize. Before we Google that, how many of those guns are hanging there? And there are, the there are two, like? and they they appear to be they appear to have, be full of that silvery liquid. Any reload device no. nearby? Okay, there well, are I'll, not. I'll take one. You take one? Gently. Anyone else taking another? There's an opportunity for you to take one, Schmidt. I mean, everyone should take one. Yeah, all right. I mean, I'm holding a baby, but... You can, right. you can give, give one to the baby. Don't give one to the baby. Yeah, give one. I give it no. There is this, there is a body. Looks like it's leaning back against something. There is a look on this person's face of absolute horror on what's left of their face. Did they see the baby? No, I think it might be the multiple wounds that they have on their chest that. It's uh, fucking Tom Selleck, and Ted Danson, and the other guy. But Tom he, Selleck, what the mustache? But it's leaning yeah. back against the wall. It, what the mustache? No, the body. Oh. Yeah. It looks like, um, from its angle, its back isn't actually against the wall. I suspect trap. I would like to search it. Okay. Or bullshit. You look around the body, and very quickly you see that what it is leaning against is a large slab of gold. Woohoo! Oh, is it part of the disky? You... C- it looks like it could be. Fuck off, body. You move the body? See. You have found another third of this disc. Why would they what, just the leave it there when they're looking for it? Well, he might have might have pooped it out when he died. Alternatively, it, it works. Violet, could, you, actually, you actually do tend to void your bowels when you snub it. Daniel, Daniel very quickly would c- conclude, thinking about it, that this could very well just be being stored here for safekeeping. Behind Not the dead dude. Who would decide to go into break into a person's house, explore a weird cavern, and go look at a a tiny little uh, corridor in a pitch black cave? But it's no. I mean, okay. What? I mean that um, that is basically what you've done. How heavy is this fucker? Uh, we concluded before how heavy this is. Um. Uh. Well, this is the back. This is an a hundred pound piece of the disc. Fuck. Oh each, yeah, these things are... Each piece is a hundred pounds. Well... Uh... I'm not that great at carrying things. It is at this point... That you hear a shout from the co- from the place that you have, uh... That you've, uh, come from. Human or lizard? Human. Is it McCready? It is... It sounds like, um... Nab McRae. Mm, does the baby respond to this? Uh, no, because the um, mm. cause it's very echoey, I imagine. But the baby's unfeeling. Mm. Meat potato doesn't give a shit about its dad being binned. 
It's calling Lucky. your name, Violet. Violet Carter. And then it's called. Then it go. Then it calls out. Sorry, I didn't realize I was muted. Um, yes, no, I, I, I muted because of all the background noise. There's a school outside. Mm -hmm. um, can I audibly recognize it's calling my name? This is this is yeah. This is yeah. You can audibly recognize it's calling your name. Who? Uh, hmm, I don't know. Who's carrying the disc part? Fucking hell. I mean, who who's got the? Uh... I have a baby in my arms. I'm not carrying anything. Yeah, I've got a lightning cannon. What's the carry to strength? Ratio you here. could carry this 100 pound disc. It will be cumbersome. It's going to require both your hands. Pretty, well, it's pretty it's going to be one of my lower things. I can't fit it in a backpack or something that I assume uh, I'm wearing. For, I can tell you how big it is. Because um, I have the description of well, how I, I just need to know if it goes in the backpack. It is. The, you can conclude that when the disc is fully assembled, it is an inch or so thick and a foot in diameter. So this thing is half a foot. Okay, it should fit in backpack then. It is it very goes. heavy though. It's a hundred pounds. Yeah, but you the could weight distributed evenly. It should not be as bad okay. as having it in my hands. All right, you put it in okay. your backpack. So you've heard this shouting. What are you going to do? We should go investigate shouting. All right, you're going to go and investigate the shouting. You emerge from this cave opening, and you see the McRae's. They were down the other tunnel that you decided not to go down. They've emerged from there. Now to know why they they're shouting. They wave at you, and when they see Schmidt holding what looks like a baby, the husband smiles in absolute joy. He then rips open his face, unfolds his big large teeth, no, and eats no, the baby. He starts, <laughs> he starts. He drops his shotgun and rushes towards you. Oh, hope you didn't drop the shotgun. Quick, everyone duck. He drops the shotgun. <laughs> You you find out to your relief it's not loaded. Um, he blows the baby off. Um, and runs over, it. arms outstretched, overjoyed. Whereupon, from the other side of the cavern, from the way that you emerged in the more natural cave, there is an almighty crack of lightning. As an arc oh. of this silvery energy hits Nab McRae straight in the chest. Oh, how unfortunate that was. Luckily, he how, was wearing his how... lightning rod. As he, um... in an, in a moment, you watch in absolute horror as his skin peels away and disintegrates into nothing, followed by his bones and sin his bones and nerves, and then his skin, and then his bones, brain matter, and in an instant, gone. Fucking Mars little more. Wait, this than... is the gun from Mars Attack. Yeah. Little more than dust settles to the ground his wife screams in absolute panic and terror and you, I scream and you look up and see that there is not just one of these serpent creatures there are four of them including one that stands as tall as all of you it is that one that made the shot and unlike the deformed examples of its kind that you have encountered already, this one is as if it was brought from hundreds of millions of years in the past. It is exactly the same physiology as you would imagine the creature would be from those skeletons that you found. It looks at you from the hood of its robes, and you can tell, even from that distance, that it is smiling. Sadistically. <laughs> Damn. At least he's having a good time. Eh, someone has to be. Then, mm. it utters an order. Uh, roll me that, um, that other language is serpent people again, Violet. I should, should throw the baby at him. Alright, I'll try. 51, yeah. yeah. No, you, you don't know what it is, but... Not bad, Roll not me good. a mythos it's roll. It's the C word in lizard speak. Roll me a mythos roll. Cloaca. Right. Oh, 21! Okay. You recognize that this is not just one word that it's doing. It's many words. And your mythos tells you that this is a chant. Okay. 
Do we do we get actions? You now get actions. Uh, it I is do. it is now initiative. I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put this uh, one in the initiative. Uh, How does the baby have initiative? The baby does not have initiative. Us? No. Well, well, the baby's useless. What's the distance? Fucking baby. I'll tell you the distance. Baby's in a not carrying his weight at all. I'll tell you the distance in a moment. Uh, ooh, oh dear. Literally and figuratively. Oh dear. Um, I'm just putting uh, this one in the initiative and all the others. The distance you are dealing with is that you are roughly that dun, 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 about a hundred feet away from him. What's that in proper? You're looking at about 90 meters. Is that 100 feet? 90-ish meters? No, no that's no. not right. Well, it's nine. No, sorry. 100 feet. So oh, yeah, be more sorry, 40 30 meters. meters. Or... Sorry, yeah, I, yeah. I'm mixing up. Um, I'm mixing oh, things right, up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm mixing things up. It's about, yeah, it's about 30 meters away. So wait, who is calling my name? Uh, the person that's just disintegrated. Okay, okay so right, that's yeah. He is very yeah, dead. Rip. And Rip. now Rip. it's the and now it's its turn again. As it's chanting, it fires on the it fires on the other um, McRae. Gets Way to pick your targets. Gets her straight in the head. And she, at, least waiting, at least he's waiting a turn on the NPC. And she, layer upon layer, but all in a moment, becomes dust. And her screams are cut abruptly short. But all the while, it still chants. As it's chanting, you notice the ground is beginning to rumble. Escort quest failed, goes. Schmidt! Mm. Yes. You are about 30 metres away from the... Uh, the creatures. I will note that while you are thirty meters away from the creatures, you are only about fifty mm. feet away from the tunnel that leads back to the house. Uh, you're also about ten feet away from that pit that you can just jump down if you like. We. I can throw the, the baby. That he's the obviously pit. summoning keep the thing safe. from. I can throw the baby in the pit to keep it safe. I mean, the parents are dead at this point. We don't need to care about the baby Yeah, we won't, we won't get any like quest. The, we're not going to get the quest reward at this yeah. point. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I shout, we're outnumbered. We have to get out of here and at least save the baby. Ah, and, and I run a back to the exit. You're, you're making a run for the exit. All right. I, I'm holding a baby. No, no, no. I'm com I'm at this point... I am confirming. I'm only confirming yes. that you're making a run for the exit. I, I would like to point out that at this point, when earlier I was saying how well built my character was, by, by Kiko giving me the baby, he has basically destroyed <laughs> all abilities of my character. You were the first <laughs> person beautiful. to get to the baby. <laughs> it is beautiful. I'm also the only person where the baby doesn't cry. Yep, uh, oh. uh, Victor Stravinsky. Okay, so... Benny Smith's his name. They're, they're fairly close to each other over there by the big man, yes? They are about 30 meters away, but yes. I'm taking the gun I picked up, and I'm hurling it at its You feet. will not reach. You're, you're, you're trying to throw a gun 30 meters. That's not a lot. That is a long it way. It just needs to get as close as possible. You can throw the gun. But I'm I mean, telling you now, it's very unlikely to reach. Well, I mean, I'm hoping the fucking thing will explode, so it doesn't have to reach entirely. All right, I will roll throw for you. Thank you. You throw. Oh, dear. Um, you throw. It gets about 10, 15 meters. Hits the ground. How, how much of a spastic do you have to be? To... Well, I'm dead then. No, no, no. You hit the ground, and it, the orb shatters, and the liquid just starts dribbling across the floor. There's no explosion. Well, fuck. It just shatters, the um, thing, and it just starts dribbling around. Hmm. You notice that it starts to hiss, though. Oh, I'm out. It's about 10 or 15 meters away. I, uh... That was my action, though. Yes. 
So Daniel. Ugh. Um. Are we all are we all in reasonable range of being able to book it out of the? Um... You're about fifty feet away from that tunnel. The one leading up to the house. The one leading up to the house. If you go down there, you you run back, you get back to the intersection, and you can just book it straight back to the house. Janty boy, is he doing anything with his hands? He Shooting us. Is he only had? He's aimed the gun. Um, but otherwise. Oh, I know. Can I can I like fart a load of bullets at the um not at the, not at him per se, but at the 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 fragile canister of the gun. That would be a very difficult shot from thirty meters away. Yeah, I know, but uh, you can, can I fire? Can you I, could certainly can I just fire a volley and hope. You could burst? certainly just fire. Yeah. Um, make me a um, a pistol roll. Negative five. Seventeen. Ooh. Okay. That is. Roll me some damage. I'd like you to roll me three d10s, please. Three d10s, okay. Yes. One. A one. <laughs> okay. A six. Okay. And a nine. All right. You fire a spray of shots. One of them goes wide. Like, two of them go completely... Like, most of them go... Like, a few of them go completely wide and miss. One of the shots gets uh, one of the diminutive ones straight in the chest and that one just collapses another one grazes the one on top of the right of the um the one chanting and the other one would have hit were it not that it hit something in front of it and then just clattered to the ground oh. uh, he's got it looks at shield. you now <laughs> but you got one of them and uh Violet. Yes. It's you. There are still um, there are still a fair few of them. I think there were three of the um smaller ones and the one that is uh chanting. Is there anyone who's in need of immediate assistance? Uh nobody's in need of medical assistance. Uh no, I I immediate assist immediate assistance. Is there anyone here who is going to require me to help them out? Holding a baby. He's running and holding well, a baby. Um, the big one can't be shot, and it's going to shoot one of us next. So, not this turn, but the next probably. All right, I got a. Can I sword the big one? You'd have to run thirty meters towards it. That's about three steps for Violet. Y you'd spend the whole turn. This is also very difficult terrain because the floor is littered with um, rocky outcroppings in this cave. Getting close to it, it will take quite a while. Your your sword fencing instructor would take one look at this situation as you remember the lessons and say that this is not the time for you to be charging forward hmm. from your sword fencing lessons. If faced with four lizard men, you do not, not like that. More more he went. If you have to charge across a barbed wire, the the barbed wired um, area of no man's land to sword a man with a machine gun, don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like the advice from the Terry Pratchett book. Um, if you're attack attacking a superior enemy in a better position, advice: endeavor to be the other team. <laughs> hmm. I. But is it the only option I have? You can run. Fifty feet I away. Fifty feet away is the tunnel that leads back to the house. There is also a hole ten feet to your left. And the one we just came out, which we're right And there is the to. way that you can go back, but that leads to a dead end full of human jerky and misery. Mm, Might be a jerky. better place to corner pull them, though. If I mean, I gotta, I gotta run. help. I gotta help. I got no option. If I don't help, I'm screwed. Uh, we're screwed, right? Yeah, but if we corner pull it, you can get it into the room, maybe. Mm. The run is risky, but Smith's already committed, so. Yeah. Probably best to book it, yeah. I'm I'm well, already running. He's already running. So Violet. Can I cover his retreat? If you have a I think gun, this would be you a could fine fire. time for the for the crouching ritual. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna elephant gun anyone looks like they're chasing after Glyca. <laughs> they're not chasing, but you can certainly fire. Roll your roll your rifle. Eleven. Eleven, a fine hit. Roll damage. 3d6 for me, please. Who are you aiming at? Uh, who? The big one. The big one? All right. He's got bullet shield. 
Uh, 3d6, right, so I got it, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, 12. Your massive elephant rifle round would have incinerated and obliterated pretty much something that um, of that size normally. But the shield holds, though it pushes him back about a foot. I got knocked back, all right. It is at this Does he take damage? No. <laughs> it is at this point that its chanting reaches a crescendo of screaming adulation. And from the pit to your left arises a horrendous entity, the likes of which none of you have ever seen before. Wait, am I seeing it or am I running away and can't see you it? You are running away and thus you do not see it. Because you are turned, you are not facing it. I think Stravinsky seen weirder, see? honestly. This creature is an immense, uh, like, worm-like entity with a squid-like face, coated in Shai slime. Halut. It's not the old man. A oh. chanting sound accompanies its eruption from this pit as it looks upon you that are next to it with slathering tendrils of acidic doom. This thing wow. towers above all of you. I'm liking what I'm hearing. And I'm from like, this, I'm, I'm, I've seen bigger And though, at that, we shall leave it until next time. I want to know if I've seen bigger. The investigators <laughs> may have bitten off more than they can chew, but that's okay, because the creature that they've just seen doesn't look like it can chew. It can do far worse. Will they survive? Or will they end up like the McRae's? Who Schmidt is valiantly protecting the child of, or the or the babies? Well, it's it's Schmidt's child now, so. Well, you'll find out next time. I'll catch you guys then, and hopefully, we'll have all the investigators on the other side. Will we be able to muster the childcare required? Goodbye. Have a wonderful time. See you later. Bye. See you later. Bye.